So it has a really cool opening credits, music, and a super cool title card to get it started. Um, I thought the music overall in this film was really well done, and the sound effects sort of keeping with that eerie tone. Um, I also appreciated the message of this film about respecting Native cultural objects, um, not taking from Native land, you know, being respectful in that sense. Um, I, I thought the acting in this film was really well done. And I loved the ending, that they got their karma in the end um, and nothing was taken. And so we have that moment of relief there that all is well. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really well done. Um, and I loved discovering the seed spirit with them and um, slowly unlocking the secrets of that doll and what it held inside. I really loved the cinematography in this. I thought that they, the filmmakers did such an amazing job with that. And even in low light conditions, they handled it perfectly. The costumes in this for a period piece were also great. It gave me a very um, Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark kind of a vibe. And the storyline kind of follows that a bit, which is really, really cool. Music was on point. This was very mysterious crime, kind of solving a little bit of a whodunit. I thought that that was very, very clever. When you take away respect, it's just taking advantage of something. And it it's no longer about the learning. It is about what you can gain from it. And I think that the key between those two things is the respect piece of it. Are you going to respect the culture that you're learning about? Are you going to respect the artifacts that you found? Are you going to respect the people that have gotten you to where you are and helped you with, you know, getting this to this place in general? Um, and this is clearly an example of what could happen when you kind of lose sight of that and you don't respect artifacts that you have no business being teaching or being near leave it alone put it back um but then again like you you kind of see the 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 instant karma if you will and i kind of like how it played out because he betrayed her and betrayed what he had initially said and agreed to and all of that and then he turned around and he got betrayed uh and then the 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 seed spirit did what the seed spirit was always going to do which is a warrior and a guardian which is what she had said and i i think that like i said karmically fantastic like it brings us into like the native like uh faith and belief that uh the thing that's going on in the story like came from like the spirit not like the demon or god so i would say like the, the direction itself is more paganistic than like um you know like taking like christian like belief in the story so it's pretty new and non-mainstream but i mean the story itself is pretty interesting the characters like have like their own goals have their own feelings and it's well portrayed by the actors in their performance um the setting it's fits with the tone and it does so like kind of like play along well with the storyline and the characters too. So everything it's well produced, everything it's in sync with each other. I love the whimsical feel that it had to the story. I love the warm color palette that captures the atmosphere perfectly. It creates this bound breaking understanding of the genre and it allows us as the viewers to engage with the content at hand.